How you doing everybody? Good morning, happy Thursday. I hope your day is filled with accomplishments, laughter, and joy. So yesterday I held a, a meetup group. It's the Westfield Personal Development Group. And we talked about loving yourself. And one of the things that I talk about in the module that I created called Loving Yourself is attachment theory, right? To, in order for you to love yourself, you have to understand four different types of attachment theory and what you may fall into based on your upbringing. What you saw as a child with your parents, environmental factors have a lot to do with it. So what are the four attachment uh, stereotypes that we could fall into? Well, the first one is you could fall into the avoidant attachment theory. Maybe you grew up in an atmosphere where uh, one parent would speak to the other parent and would avoid like a lot of conflict or you know stonewall and run out and just leave the situation and you just got used to basically seeing that particular uh you know situation happen all the time and you know that's something that we become adjusted to we we take on that belief uh which could build up we may develop the belief that i can't trust anybody so therefore i'm not going to get involved in an intimate relationship and when they when things get heated i'm gone right i'm avoiding Another one is anxious. You grow up in a family situation where there's a lot of yelling and screaming, and that could cause you to feel these anxious emotions. And you know what happens when we have an emotion? We feel it in our body. A lot of us can't handle the uh, feelings because we haven't identified that it's just my body reacting to a certain feeling that I'm having, and we have to learn to self-regulate. So, and you know, getting involved in a relationship later on in life, you might be anxious. The third one is avoidant anxious, where you're both, and that's very harmful. Uh, if you can't deal with the anxiety and then the anxiety causes you to run away and not deal with whatever you need to deal with, well, you're never gonna really have a healthy relationship, not only with the other person, but with yourself. And the last one is a secure attachment. That's the one that we're striving for. We wanna to learn to be secure. And you know, one of the things that I was discussing uh, in, love, in the Loving Yourself module uh, on the Meetup group is how do we become secure? Well, it takes work, right? But it really takes uh, the bravery of looking at where these things come from and we have to look at our past if we've experienced some type of trauma in our past that you know allows us or has has somehow produced these beliefs that we're avoided or we're anxious or we're avoided anxious and we're not secure then we have to delve into it the only way that you are going to become secure and truly love yourself is to face these things head on and so many of us have experienced trauma in our lives. And not only as a child, but listen, this could happen at any time of your life. You may have a, a loss of a loved one. You may go to war. Soldiers experience PTSD. But the only way that we're going to address these things is by facing them head on. So if you feel that you fall into one of these three not so good, unpleasant communication styles, I encourage you to find someone that you could talk to about it. Look at where these things have come from. Learn to become your own CBT therapist, something that I could teach you as well, and change. Because beliefs are decisions and you can make a decision to change your beliefs at any moment, any age, any time. The choice is ultimately up to you. But the goal is to become secure, secure in yourself where you could be vulnerable 24-7, 365, seven days a week with yourself, right? And that's going to go a long way. Any questions, comments, concerns, or announcements, please reach out to me, holisticwellcare.coach. I look forward to hearing from you. And again, have a wonderful day filled with accomplishments, laughter, and joy. Take care. Bye.